everybody, Mason and I are here tonight getting ready for dinner and we're going to share it with you and tonight we are making meatloaf, meatloaf, which is one of Mason's and Coulter's and a lot of my children's favorite meals because it's meat, which they like. So we are mixing today ground beef and venison. Yep, along with carrots, onions, celery, zucchini from the garden, celery from the garden, parsley from the garden, and... Swiss chard. Swiss chard, because I like to put greens in everything, because greens are really good for just adding nutrition. So we're going to, this is I believe seven pounds of ground beef, because that's what we took out of the freezer. We have seven medium sized zucchini in here, we're just going to shred it through the food processor. Everything shredded, then it's time to put it all in the bowl and start mixing it together. So one of the things that we have learned is if you take your meat out plenty of time in advance, then it warms up and it's a whole lot easier to mix than if you take it directly out of the fridge when it's completely ice cold and then your hands start to get numb and whatnot. So just put all of that together. This is all the shredded. We're going to put about half of this in right now. So one of the things we do is we add eggs to help it bind together. Um, I usually do at least one egg per pound of meat. Um, this one we actually, it's about seven pounds of meat, but we use eight eggs because they're our farm eggs, and so a couple of them are kind of small. Um, you can do a couple more if you want to get more protein in there, but usually one large egg per pound works well. And then we have our seasonings, and in our seasonings um, we use, this is just Worcestershire sauce, I don't put that in, that's one of Mason's ingredients. And then we have salt, pepper, garlic powder, turmeric, and no salt. This is our garlic focaccia croutons that we just grind up into breadcrumbs. So some people use oats, some people use saltine crackers or crackers. We're gonna use our focaccia croutons. Ground. So those actually have seasonings in them as well. Those have garlic and salt. And then we have fresh parsley from the garden. Once you have everything mixed really well together, then it's time to form the meatloafs. We just use uh, 9 by 13 pans. If you are worried about your meat not being fatty enough, then you can spray it, but we usually don't have that problem. One of the things that you want to do is make sure that your meatloaf is not super tall if you don't have the time to cook it. So if you're in a rush, you can make the meatloaf really not very big. Once you have your meatloaf shaped it in your pans, then you can put different root vegetables around it. We like to put carrots, potatoes, and sweet potatoes around it. Sweet potatoes are Brett's favorite. Our final step is to put sprinkle on the French onion soup mix. You can mix it with ketchup if you want to. Some people don't, some people do. Some people also put brown sugar with their ketchup and put it over top, but we're not doing that at all. We don't put much sugar in the, the foods we cook, so we're avoiding that. We're going to bake it at 400 for about an hour to hour and 15 minutes after we cover it with oil. Once your time is up, you can take the meatloaf out of the oven cut into it in the center. It should not be pink at all. As long as it's cooked, you are ready to serve. Thank you guys for watching. Happy eating. Work hard. Get dirty. Use good soap. Goat milk stuff. <laughs> so we're going to look at that camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at your face. I just, you're all scruffy. Oh, <laughs> now you're saying it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Look at his face. She can do a change. I could. Okay. Whatever. All right. You ready? Yes. Now look in the. First one, of course. <laughs> I did. Don't even laugh. <laughs> one. <laughs> 